Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Dot com, and this is your. I want you to think about all those mean people. Photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Wirestock, which is still the easiest way to sell your photos, videos, and vectors online. It's simple. You upload your photos or videos to Wirestock. They tag and keyword them for you and then distribute them for sale on the largest stock websites like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Pond5, and now Getty Images and iStock Photo. You can do all this from one single free account, no subscription or flat fees. When you sell something, Wirestock takes 15% and you get the rest. You could be making money from simple random clips you already have or go shoot your cat, your dog, your pet bird, whatever, your trouser snake. I don't know. Go make some money. To sign up for free right now, head on over to bit.ly slash wirefro33. First up, we've got some sad news for the three people who bought tickets for Create NYC, three. formerly known as Photo Plus. It's been postponed, aka canceled. Look, I don't like seeing people fail. All right, some, sometimes I really do like, like this guy. <laughs> nothing against the people at Create NYC, but the writing was on the wall all along. This was an idea destined to fail. No one wants to go to Brooklyn. Not even the hipsters living in Brooklyn want to go to Brooklyn anymore. Got my hands on the new Leica M11. Here's what Create NYC had to say about the postponement. And I quote, we're pressing pause until 2023. When envisioning the future of the Photo Plus brand, our team sought to reimagine how we could learn, connect, be inspired, and evolve the event format and content to meet the needs of our community. As any visual storyteller knows a great image requires just the right amount of exposure time since releasing the shutter on the jesus guys really this is why you failed you use stupid puns like that we don't care anyway uh since they've come up with the plans in may the create nyc team has found that the first show needs a little extra time to produce why don't you say an extra time to develop you should have said an extra time to develop if you want to go with puns oh you're right the collective and inspiring experience imagined for this dynamic space as a result, the Create NYC team has decided to pause our plans for this year in order to build a truly dynamic experience for 2023. All right, now we're back to me. That was all a quote, except for the stuff where I interjected. The truth of the matter is they picked all TikTok dancers as speakers and all the major camera brands dropped out. I'm just gonna say it now. I don't think we will ever see Create NYC happen. Do you? Let me know down below. Too many puns and not this guy. Next up, big news for Nikon. It's it's big news because it's all in capitals on my teleprompter here. They just won Camera of the Year. It's a major award. The bad news is they won an ESA award. That's a major award. Hey. Oh, stop yelling at me. We all know that the ESA awards are bullshit and have been now for 40 years. 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years. So what's ESA stand for? It's the Expert Imaging and Sound Association. It is a collaboration between currently 60 of the most respected international specialist CE magazines. Is that consumer electronics? I think that's consumer electronics. The way I see it is that they are made up of yesterday's influencers. And by yesterday's, I mean 1980s and 1990s when publications meant something. Now they actually mean nothing. But like any modern influencer, there's a catch. If you win an award and you want to tell people about it, you need to pay for the right to say you won. Yep, that's how most influencers work, but not me. Ignore that sound. You don't you don't hear that sound. That's ignore the money truck. Just leave it right there. Thanks. Anyway, other companies to win awards beside Nikon were Sony, Canon, Fuji, Tamron, Sigma, Lawa, OM Systems, and not Pentax or Leica. Sick. Basically, the name of the game for ESA is to make up categories that fit every company so you can attempt to charge them to say that they won. Now, if I won best photo website, I would not pay. But we all know that the best photo website is not mine, it's this guy's. I ain't a play, I just crush a lot. The moral of the story, if you see this logo, just know it holds no weight. <laughs> Speaking of wait, wait one second. Have you checked out Raw Talk Podcast? Yeah, the Raw Talk reboot is in full swing. Check it out wherever you get your podcasts or head on over to fronosphoto.com slash podcast because there's new episodes every Friday morning. Go catch up. And finally, a few stories from Canon Rumors, starting with some bad news. Canon Rumors says that the RF 35 1.2 has been pushed into 2023. I guess that's better than being pushed in front of a subway train, right? 
They go on to say that they reported it would be announced in 2021 and then in 2022, and now they're being told that it's 2023. Who are you, Sony Alpha rumors? That was harsh. They also say that we should see a 135, 1.8, possibly a 24, 1.4, and maybe another wide angle lens, which I can only hope is a 10 to 24, 2.8, or something sweet like that. Dude, he's so weak. Now I've been waiting for a 35 1.2 for a long time, but honestly, with using the 28 to 70 F2 RF and its versatility, we'll have to see if it's worth the trade-off. If I had to choose between a 35 and a 135, I'm taking the 135 every day of the week for Canon because I already have the 28 to 70 F2. Continuing on with another Canon rumor, Canon rumor says they've been told that there will be a new full-frame RF camera hitting the market at the end of 2022 or in early 2023, or maybe. 2031 because who knows anymore or between now and and later soon they claim that this new full frame body will be a replacement of sorts for the eos r but fall below the r6 now i call bs on this rumor as it makes no sense to have a 1500 r7 a 1000 r10 and also somehow have a low priced full frame i think that the crop sensor rf bodies have put a nail in the coffin of the 1000 full frame body what do you guys think let me know down below. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix. This time around to check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared, PolandFronosPhoto.com. See ya.